it is now laid up. And I'm thinking of pushing my luck not having a front heater core. So today I'm going to try taking out the front heater core and replacing the burned out fan too. Okay, oh, for those of you in California, that is not a lawnmower, that is a leaf vacuum, which you may have seen on TV, or maybe your cousins back east have one. Always disconnect the ground strap of the battery before you do any work like this. This wrench came with my 65 Beetle. It's come in pretty handy. It's kept me from having to buy any of the wrenches since. Let's start with these screws in the front of the dash here, all the way across. All right, let's do these side screws on both sides. Okay, remove the plastic housing over the steering wheel. I already did that because I was uh, waiting for the computer to boot. Remove the horn switch. Then remove this bolt and take off the steering wheel. Remove these three screws. Take that out. And by the way, if you were going in here to do this, you might as well do the ignition switch too. Unplug all the connectors. Uh, don't worry about marking them, they're all different. You can't mess them up putting them back in. Alright, this piece comes off. Next we will pull out this dash section. Uh, comes right off. Alright, remove this cowling. Take out these four screws around the instrument cluster. Okay, pull out the switches all around. There are four of them. The uh, switches and these connectors. Both sides. All right, remove the speedometer. This thing just, you just press it and it snaps off. Got a few more wires to do, disconnect. Hey, look at that burnt wire. Slide these over a bit and then try to get these toggle switches pushed through. And push, push these through also. Remove the air conditioner switch if you have one. Okay, remove this face plate here. They just pull off, but they're kind of hard to pull off. Feel like you're gonna break it. Okay, remove the screws on both sides. Okay, either remove your $89 crutch field or your $2,000 Bong & Olufsen stereo. You know which one I have. All right, unplug the lighter socket from behind and then reach in and unplug that silver dash thingy. I took out the glove box. Uh, remove these things holding the steering wheel column on. Uh, I think they were created by some kind of psychopath at Volkswagen. You'll see the tool I'm using. Let's loosen up these screws holding the steering wheel column on. Okay, let's disconnect the switch here and the light. Then screw this relay panel down here next to the steering wheel. Let's pull these vents out. I almost forgot to disconnect this switch here. Now give the dash a little tug and it will come flying out in your hands. Okay, at this point, uh, it would probably be best just to tow this to a local mechanic shop. Don't forget these two little wires. They came flying out next to the heater, so remember not, I'm gonna put those back in. I believe there are six screws holding in the heater core. Let's take those out. First thing you want to do is strip these screws and then have to drive to Sears and buy a $20 pair of vice pliers. I would make sure you have a screwdriver that can it's fat enough for these screws before attempting to take them out. They're pretty tough. Stripping the screw on the right hand side of the heater was just a warning because I was able to get those out with the vice grips. The ones on the left are extremely deep in there. If you strip those you probably end up selling the van. So I made this tool, a very special high-tech tool that I use to get the screws out on the left-hand side. Make sure you label these. I have not drained the coolant. I'm not going to, hopefully not. So I pinched off these hoses and I'm going to take off these uh, connections. Disconnect the rest of the hoses and then pull it out. All right, remove these two screws on top. By the way, I cut this red wire, taking this out. It's probably going to be easier than getting it out of there in another way. 
remove all these clamps all the way around. You'll need to pry off the top. Uh, I think a chimpanzee and a bait with a uh, baseball bat probably could have done a better job than I did. There is the old core. Here's the new one. You may or may not choose to remove the acorns. The new motor is in and the new heater core is in. There's some uh, insulating foam I wrapped around the heater core. Time to put it all back together now. A few of these should help. Uh, it's all sealed up. I put a very thin coating of sealant around inside. I'm not going to use any glue or anything like that because in case I have to go back in here. Or anybody else has to go back in here. That was glued shut. I'm never going to get it open again. Alright, I'm going to go clean out the inside of the dash. This is my Flintstone van check. I mean, fan check. I just put the wire and check it all three switch positions. Put these cables again, try to put them back where you found them. There'll be an indentation on the cable, and then uh, just test them all one at a time, make sure they open and close. Plug my wiper motor back in, that'll probably burn out a week from now. Don't forget to reconnect the wire that we cut. You can tell I'm being an optimist by soldering it, not using an aircraft clip. And don't forget to put the ground back in the ground block over there. All the vents are back in, it's been cabled back up, and it's been wired back up. This is a good breaking point for me today. It's going to start getting dark out soon. Well, what I've done is put the dash back in and put just two screws in because it needs something to hold it in. You do that, watch out for these braces down here. And then what I did was I roughed in all of my electrical jacks and I also put all my vents in. I have no idea where that goes. I'm still waiting to hear where that goes and then we'll start putting everything back. One thing I discovered is a lot of items on the dash have little light bulbs that go in there. So you might want to arm yourself with a bunch of little replacement bulbs if you want to get them working again and you're going to do your dash. I'm trying to beam you up now, Captain! I had the instrument cluster back in. I'm going to include all the switches. Kind of a tight fit. Don't forget the speedometer cable. Got the AC in, all the switches on the front, transporter knobs, stereos in. I highly recommend putting these bolts back in before you put the instrument cluster back in. Only a complete idiot would forget to do that. Make sure the base of the steering wheel is in correctly before you put the rest of the steering wheel together. This pops out when you're working on it. Okay, we got heat. We're all set, except the only thing is I lost the nut to the steering wheel. Murphy's Law. So we'll see how that pans out. What I need to do now is I need to bleed the system because I got plenty of air in it now due to the uh, fact that we just put a new heater core in. All right, added a ton of coolant. And we're coming out top, bubbling out the top now. We're all set here. Alright, we've been idling for about 10 minutes. 